today, I'm Alicia if you're new, and in case you haven't heard, I'm posting new videos every weekday in January to kickstart your new year. So if you want more content, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Everyone is looking for smoothies in January, but this year I have had more requests for keto and low carb recipes than ever. So here are some low carb smoothie options because believe it or not, it can be done. Now remember, keto is a high fat diet. I have an entire video on it if you're interested. So part of how we keep these smoothies low enough and net carbohydrates is by upping the fat so these are filling and really should be looked at as more of a meal than a snack. Of course, at the end of the day, your keto diet is up to you and it's all about your overall ratio of fat to protein and carbohydrates and your carbohydrate tolerance, so you need to do what works for you. Today, I've got five low-carb smoothie recipes in this video and then three more for a total of eight in the free ebook that you can download using the link in the description box. Let's start with cucumber celery matcha, lean and green. Into my blender, I add baby cucumber, celery, avocado, and coconut or MCT oil. So MCT stands for medium chain triglycerides or medium chain fatty acids. And it's a type of fat derived from coconut oil. It's colorless, odorless, and stays liquid at room temperature. So a lot of people on a low carb diet add it to food, coffee, or smoothies to boost the fat content in their diet. It's easy to digest and suppresses hunger. Remember, you really shouldn't be hungry on a low carb diet. And it provides quick, clean energy for your body Body and especially your brain. We can all benefit from MCTs, low carb or not. I also add matcha powder. Make sure you use a high quality brand, which will mean it's a vibrant green and annoyingly expensive. I've linked a brand I use sometimes in the description, but it isn't my only brand choice. And feel free to add a low carb friendly sweetener or stevia drops to taste. Finally, for my liquid, I add creamy cashew milk, but you can use whatever you prefer. Blend it up. I love the vibrant and fresh color and taste. Cucumber is always so distinct to me when it's in a smoothie. And I like it. This smoothie only has six grams of net carbs and all of the nutrition info for all of these smoothies can be found in the free ebook along with the recipes. Next up, a low carb golden milk smoothie. <laughs> I start with coconut milk from the can shaken up. Make sure it's really well integrated. And then add that to an ice cube tray to make coconut milk ice cubes. They may separate a bit when freezing, but it's no biggie. Just keep those in the freezer for whenever you need them for smoothies or cooking. Thaw them out for a few minutes before adding to your smoothie. For this smoothie, I add coconut milk ice cubes with an additional splash of milk, MCT oil, and remember that can always be coconut oil, vanilla extract, turmeric for a nutritious golden boost, cinnamon, ground ginger, salt, and sweetener to taste. Naturally sweet, cinnamony, and a kick from those spices. I love the creaminess the coconut milk provides, and this smoothie only has four grams of net carbs. How about a berries and cream protein smoothie? This one starts with frozen raspberries, which are one of the fruits lowest in carbohydrates. Then I add MCT or coconut oil, a scoop of collagen protein powder, optional sweetener to taste, and full fat coconut milk. A lot of people are mistaken and believe that keto means no fruit. Keto does not mean no fruit. It means very high in fat and very low in carbohydrates. We all have a different carbohydrate tolerance and the only way to know is to test your blood ketone levels while tracking your macronutrient intake. So if you can keep your ratio working for your body while still eating some fruit, go for it. Some people, most people can have some fruit or at least berries. Probably most people will have to stay away from higher sugar fruits like bananas and mangoes to keep their carb content down, but it's mistaken to say that keto means no to any specific food. It's really about the overall carbohydrate consumption and fat ratio. This smoothie is creamy, sweet with a bit of tang, and I love using collagen protein powder because the one I use is flavorless, so I don't even know it's there. I am not a huge sweetened protein powder fan, and I do love the joint, hair, and nail benefits the collagen provides. Okay, bulletproof smoothie, anyone? This cinnamon almond bulletproof shake is delicious and filling. I start with some of those coconut milk ice cubes, MCT oil, almond butter, flax meal, cinnamon, sweetener to taste, a pinch of salt, and coffee. Blend it all up. Okay, if you want your coffee boost kicked up a notch, this shake will do it. You've got the caffeine from the coffee, the brain boost from the MCTs, and just the invigorating excitement from this being a delicious, indulgent, low-carb shake. Six grams of net carbs, so much satisfaction. The last one I'm sharing here is perhaps the most dessert-like, surprise, blackberry cheesecake. 
frozen blackberries, cream cheese, or if you're a dairy-free low-carber, you could use coconut milk, but of course it won't have the same cheesecake effect. I have seen a coconut-based cream cheese at Trader Joe's that could work, but I haven't tried it. I'm also adding MCT oil, vanilla extract, optional sweetener, a pinch of salt, coconut milk, and water. This one is the most indulgent. It's extremely delicious, but it's also the highest in carbs. There are about 10 grams of net carbs in this smoothie. Keep in mind, some people can handle that. Personally, when I did keto and tracked my blood ketone levels, I can handle about 40 to 50 grams of carbs a day and still remain in ketosis. Some people can only handle 20 or less. It really depends on the person. So if you know this smoothie won't work for you, I apologize, but I hope one of the others will. Remember, I do have three more smoothies in the free ebook that you can download using the link in the description. There is a peppermint protein milkshake, a creamy cashew acai smoothie, and a chocolate macadamia nut. Yum. All recipes and nutrition are included. Thanks so much for being here with me. Let me know your favorite in the comments below. I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. And remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.